So there's a multiple types of edging you can do with a TPO roof. We as a company always opt for TPO clad drip edge metal. This is why. This is a cover tape drip edge metal where basically what's called a cover tape right here is adhered to a regular galvanized drip edge. The problem with this is that I see installers constantly when they run into failures at the edge. So see right here, we already have rust and we have a potential for leak right here. The installer either didn't clean this area well enough, he didn't prime this area well enough, right? So then now our tape product is completely failed. So water's accessing that and is gonna slowly rest it away, right? I've seen roofs where the whole rest of the TPO roof is perfect and the entire cover strip detail is failing. If done perfectly right, that detail can work. The TPO uh, drip edge metal is so much harder to make a mistake on. If that weld is right the first time on that metal, you're good for 20 years. This is the other uh, way to do it. We're actually standing in our, in our showroom right now. But this is TPO clad drip edge metal or TPO coated drip edge metal. So all this is, is this is a piece of galvanite, galvalume uh, metal, and then the TPO is embedded and coated into it, right? So what that means is that means that our TPO is able to weld directly to it. So we're not relying on any tape, any primer. We have an actual mechanical weld there. So that weld is just as good as like the field welds on the roof itself. So that's the way that we do all of our uh, drip edge details. Uh, to give one example, uh, scuppers on a roof, this is a drain where all the water goes to. Those are always made out of clad, clad metal. The reason why that's done is because the weld is a lot stronger than a tape product.